Clytemnestra, for me, was life-changing. I think I was standing up on the porch of a friend of mine's house in Puget Sound, Washington State, when my cell phone rang. And of course, then who was it but my agent saying, listen, there's a part, Clytemnestra, in a play they're doing by Chuck Mee called Iphigenia 2.0 at the Signature Theater. And there Clytemnestra dropped out to be interested in thinking about it. And I said, I'm not only interested, I'm saying yes right now. I said, I, I love the story. It's right up my alley. And I've always wanted to work at Signature. I left almost immediately and went directly into rehearsal with the astounding Tina Landau at the helm. I had been uh, away from New York for a couple, few years in some television, namely this series called Star Trek Voyager, in which I played the captain. You really have to stay in the game here. Uh, it, it, I think that there's a certain looking askance when you go away for long periods of time, which I had done. But they welcomed me with a, a gentleness and a confidence and an absolute conviction. It's one thing to play Captain Janeway. It's another thing to even play Captain Hepburn in the, in the one woman show I did. But this was Clytemnestra, right? Now we're talking about the Greeks. We're talking about check me. And we're talking about transcending a theme that is uh, clearly ageless. And I just was transformed by it. I found, again, the thing in me that had not lain dormant. But it hadn't been sharpened on a, in, in a television soundstage in, in Hollywood. There's a different acuity at work there. It just sort of triggered again the very thing that had started my bliss as an actor. And I will never forget that, was it three months in total, as being among the most joyful of my entire life. I remember the robe I wore, I remember the rehearsals, I remember talking to Jim, I remember the laughter, I remember the sense of absolute lack of judgment of a certain, uh, uh, not only freedom, but it, everyone was born aloft. It was the spirit of the place. What more magnificent experience could I have had than that to dust off my captain's boots with? <laughs>